You've probably been told the purpose of this move before, but have you ever actually been shown how to apply it or used it yourself? In 15 years of training, I haven't. So one day I put on my thinking hat and my punching gloves and got to work. The usual explanation is that this move represents rolling under a punch and countering, but done as in the form, the distances just don't work. If you're in punching range, there isn't the room or the need to step through like this. This movement and its concept can be applied though, and at three different ranges. We'll start with the long range, which imitates the large frame version of this move. So to help me go through these applications, we've got Will here from Monkey Skills Peach. Hello. And our longest range weapon is our front kick, especially our rear leg front kick. So Will throws the kick, I dodge to the side. I've now got this angle in which to counter attack follow up with whatever moves I want. If we're really lucky, he falls forward like this, or it takes him a long time to recover. But we don't want to rely on luck. So as he throws the kick, I'm going to block it and dodge to the side. I then rebound off and counter-attack him. We'll do that one more time. And there we go. Really driving off this rear leg to get power into that strike. Putting it all together, we have this. The opponent is out of position and we have the opportunity to follow up with a range of different attacks. If you're feeling particularly confident, you can take a small step to the side, cutting a smaller angle, but being able to counter immediately. This could be with straight punches, or if you're close enough, a pivot and a powerful hook. Next, we'll look at the close range. This looks less explicitly like the form, but the elements of the rolling slip and the punches at the right positions are still present. For this version, we're gonna start with a basic U slip, which is very much what this move is moving down, across, and up, just with the addition of a forward step. From the U-slip, we add on a body shot as we step across. Now with a classic U-slip, we've got this shoulder pulled back, ready for our counter hook, so we just turn through. So we've got U-slip, body shot, and hook. This is a pretty classic boxing combo, and whilst it looks different to the form, the principles are pretty much the same, just combining the slip with the first strike. Our last application is for the mid-range, and lies somewhere between the other two in terms of that classic Kung Fu appearance. Once again, thinking about the range, we start with our opponent retreating off of a punch. This is important, as it gives us the space we need to step through. Okay, so Will's gonna throw a jab whilst retreating. In response to this, I'm gonna slip and throw a body shot. If I manage to hit him, great. If not, doesn't matter. I've now got to close this distance. So I step my right foot forward, loading up my lead shoulder. It now becomes my rear shoulder. I can throw a hook with more rotation and a lot more power. This also has the benefit of adding forward momentum to the punch for even more power. We do that a little bit faster. Obviously not full speed and power because they don't want to hurt each other. So you jab, I slip, come through with the hook. Now all of these examples have been to the left hand side just because that's how it's done in the form. But you could do this to the right hand side as well. So that's how we might actually apply this movement in a real fight. It can range anywhere from pure boxing to kung fu stance work and lay somewhere in between. Sometimes though, the application actually holds the secret of how to do the form properly. So if you're interested in more applications or just want to perfect your Lian Huan Chuen, check out this video next.